Okay, here's a tutorial for a dragon paper base. I prefer to use construction paper and use my white paper for uh, making the design. Please don't. Well, I'm probably going to. Oh, wait, hold up. I actually know what design I'm doing. Um, so, first things first, you're going to fold the paper on place. Like this. And make sure that your paper is like this. It doesn't, if you're making a bigger dragon, oh, oh, I just realized what I forgot. I need a tape and scissors. Okay. Oh, I have to tape and scissors. Um, so, and then to keep them poised on the last fold, grab some tape and tape it on. Why is tape so hard to get off? Okay, here's the tape. I like to I like to use bigger scissors for this. If if you're doing like a really really detailed um, dragon, um, you can use smaller scissors for the smaller areas, etc. etc. Okay, and then once you have one that looks like this, you're going to repeat the process in the same way. I like to make it a little bit smaller because it's for the bottom. Um, so you can do it however you want. Like if you're doing a dragon with an underbite, I would suggest making it bigger. Crap, I did my I go through like a lot of doing this wrong whenever I'm making dragons. And then whenever you know, I just decide we're gonna keep it wrong, it'll be okay. I miss the same thing. I mean, it doesn't really matter how thin it is. Um, if your dragon design is gonna be like way, way too big, um, you're gonna probably gonna wanna use cardboard to weigh it down so that it's not all flappy and stuff. Like most of my dragons are, fit the base really well. I've only, I only have a, like one that's too big. And I think that that is, yeah, Tsunami. Um, I'll try it. And Tsunami is also way too big for my hand. Um, as you can see, I'm going to try to make it not too big for your hand. Um, Next up, you're gonna want two more pieces of paper. Um, I like to make my basic color recording. Um, so, oh, so, but first of all, you're gonna fold them like this, and then they should be able to look like this. Um, So I only do one at a time so that I can. Okay, so next up you're going to need a pencil. Um, I can sharpen this. Um, so you're gonna take it and put it on your eye, put it on the edge where I can just hold it, and put it where your hand feels comfortable inside of it. I like to put it just a little bit away from my hand. It's right here, that's pretty good. I have a really small hand. Um, you can try I like to just fill in my inside so I don't have to take it as much time. Um, and then once you're done, it shouldn't be too big. Um, hold on, let me go grab. I normally just have like four clips with me uh, for making them so that whenever I cut, whenever it's folded, I can. I don't know why I bring four. It's probably just because I like extra.
It's okay if you cut like a little bit um, too small. Um, I, most of my dragons, they're all kinds of too small. Um, and then you should be left with two little triangles. Um, you're going to need tape for this part. Um, I like to do it one at a time. You're going to fold it like this, and then you should have like a little 3D triangle. And then you're going to take some tape. Ah, uh, the best tape. to grab a longer piece and then cut it into half and you're going to take your tape and put it on one side here. and then tape this onto your base um and you grab this and you're going to repeat the process except for this time it's going to be upside down but you still put the tape on in the same way and everything. I'm sorry if it's taking me too long to get this tape. I'm really bad at getting tape because I don't have it on fingers. And whenever I wear fake nails, they're always really fancy. See, just there's seven dollar ones off Amazon. should be done you're gonna want to cut off this extra like right here so like right here you're gonna put it flex according to the size and then your top part is done and then oh crap did i just oh no it was on the table um, and then you're gonna do the same thing with the thumb um Fold it like this, and the one the uh, bottom jaw you should cut off a little bit. I always cut off like an excessive amount, um, and then you're gonna do the same thing. Mm. Mm. I have very small fingers. I totally never um, that I have small fingers. But having small fingers makes it easy to do. Like whenever I lose a pencil under something, it makes it easier because I have small hands to uh, grab it. If you want, you can cut um, part of it like this. Well, if it's big enough, you can cut like a little end in it. And then it makes it easier to fold. I never do that because it, I don't know, I just don't, I either forget to or just don't, like I'm like, I'm like oh I could do this and make it easier to fold, but I'm not, I'm not this is going to be my first full video in a really, really long time, the reason I make quotes is they're kind of easy to make and um they're shorter take less time so if so um yeah that's why i put shorts and because most trends are always short and your bottom part should start looking like this and um, Consider paper dragons to be origami. So if you're wondering if this is origami, I don't really consider it to be origami. I mean, other people might have different opinions because you're folding. Um, I don't really think it's not it's origami because you're using tape and scissors. So if I do stuff out of frame, it's because it's hard to uh, get it into there. And then your bottom part should fit your thumb pretty well. Um, and then... Crap. I'm probably going to post the video soon with dragon ideas for it all, but... 
so until you're going to look at this, but to attach them, of course, you're going to need to. And yeah, put your bottom one down. And then on the inside of your hand, especially, you're going to put it right there, like that. And then line it up the way that you want it. And then your base is done. Um, I like to use a few pieces of tape because it makes it more sturdy and it doesn't flop around as much. But some of my dragons are only use one piece of tape to attach them and they are quite flimsy. And then you should be able to move your base like this. Um, I don't know. That's for instance that I use on the inside. Um, and then to make the dragon, for example, please do not copy. Um, I'll use Avery for example. Um, I did not make the bottom on Avery, but I did the inside how it's cut out and stuff. I'm going to draw whichever you want. Um, one personal trick that I like to use is putting your base down and then putting a line where it is and then boom, and then you have the uh, length of your base. I don't know why, oh yeah, now I remember why I do that. <laughs> I was about to say that I don't remember why I do that. You should not do the, uh, what's it called? The uh, top and the bottom. In the same piece of paper, you should do the top and then do the bottom. So that you can do this. Um, I can see it's separate. Um, I'm gonna go for more circular eyes on this one. into a triangle you can use like any color actually I'm going to rub my color pencils because this is going to have a lot of blue now and I will back um I catalog people here um there are many types of people so I'm definitely not using that type I don't know why I drew that of course, use a pencil for this. Um, I'm going to do like a little snake pupil. pupil. Um, and then, so um, I'm doing a deep sea dragon. Um, one way that I do like to draw the ears is like this. Like I'll draw a little line and that's the inside. Um, I'm actually going to add gills on this one. I don't think that I've ever done a deep sea dragon. Other than Tsunami, I don't think that I've ever done a sea dragon. Tsunami has um, not used the case and I have ears instead. Um, if you are new to making paper dragons, just, um, the one I do have, uh, I don't know, there's just, like, some unspoken rules, I don't know why I'm saying these, but, um, don't copy other people's dragons unless they say that you can. Um, you don't have to, like, ask them personally, but, like, most, like, if I post it, don't copy it. I don't copy the dragon. That's just a real quick reminder. Um, I do not have markers. <laughs> well, I do. Where did I put it? I just don't know where I put it. Oh, but, well, there's a pen, but pens don't work. Um, what if I think that I might have just found it? Yes, I did. Just <laughs> I'm sorry that this video is so long. 
but as you can see the uh um i used all of my black markers sadly i'm sorry if my voice is cracked um i like to just use this marker for like the small details like those smaller little and then of course you can't forget to color in your dragon I'm using a uh, sky blue for the eyes. Don't copy this dragon, please. I know that I've mentioned it a lot. Just because, I don't know. Um, I like to test my colors at the uh, bottom to see if they're eligible for this dragon. Um, I do like to use highlights. Like, do this is not an example of a highlight. Um, an example of a highlight would be like me putting it beside the gills if you're new to the garden community. Um, I like that. Is blue, right? I, I think so. Okay, I actually love that. Um, and then I'm going to use a dark blue. Ooh, that was so good. Um, oh, it's a 15 minute tutorial. Wow. Um, y'all are. There's many other tutorials that are shorter than this. I'm just really bad at making things while talking. And because I don't want to spend a bunch of time putting captions on this, I decide, oh, I'm just going to talk while I do it. Because that's totally a good idea. And then it makes it so that it's a 15 dang minute tutorial. I'm trying to put everything that I'm doing on camera. <laughs> if y'all are wondering if this is if one of my subscribers is on here and they like watch my videos a lot, this is why there's so many pencil marks on my dragons. Because I have because I'm not gonna do it like all in like one direction so yeah that's why um one tip um if you're new to the dragon community is people would get their dragons like different sides i have a really good example um I play with dragon, also known as my mane. Um, so this is the normal side, and then the bad side. If you all have seen the backstory, don't spoil it, please. Um, yeah. And just for inspiration, um, and nobody's bad at drawing. If you think that you're bad at drawing, you're not. Um, tips that I have for you is, um, sometimes I will do multiple, I'll have to try a million different times for these. So yeah, never give up. I sound like a teacher over here. I mean, I am kind of teaching you how to make something. And then, so basically, once you have your dragons done, you're going to cut it out. Like so. Like, you don't have to cut out every little detail. Like, if you don't like something that's on the outside, um, my suggestion 
for you is just to cut that out. It doesn't really matter if you color in the lines. I like to if it's really that bad. Um, like if it's really important, like I'm working with, like if there's a bunch of detail, I'm probably going to cut, cut color, color in the lines. Not cut in the lines. Um, so for teeth, what I do, I don't have a god dragon for teeth. Uh, I believe it's like my only dragon teeth. Um, you put them on the baits, and then it shows up like this. Well, these teeth turned out so good. I will teach you how to make teeth because I'm going to put a lot of teeth teeth on this dragon. Also, if, if you subscribe, that would, that would be that would mean a lot to me. And I'm not a kind of person that begs for subscribers, but like if you if you do, um. So my goal is to get to 200 subscribers, so I can make a 200 su subscriber dragon. And um, yeah. So basically, what I'm going to do is probably I don't really know what I'm going to do for it. I'm probably going to think about it unless I get kind of close. Like right? once I get to 150, I guess, because. By the time I hit 150, I'm probably going to be earning subscribers faster than I do now. But I, like, Mr. Beast, for example, people subscribe to him every second. Okay. And, um, so now for this. Uh, so basically you're going to take tape. Of course you are. Um, I'm definitely adding tape this Tape, not a long piece, but not a short piece. Um, the uh, dry side right here and then y'all probably know the stripe gets so that both sides are sticky or if you have a uh, double sided tape that's really helpful um, I like to flatten it out and then you're just gonna stick the dragon in there so it covers the baits and then bam and then because I don't want this to be a long tutorial, I'm going to end it here. Um, we're basically just going to do the same thing with the uh, top as you would for the bottom. Off. Um, like you're just going like, to cut it out. Like, here we go. I'll give you an example. You guys can see I uh, cut out the bottom and stuff. I'm going to do that for the bottom. And goodbye.